Access 36 TOU at 1066 bucks for that chandelier. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It says it's a boiler. A combination boiler. Okay, I mean, they're they're not bad. You just you get so much volume out of them. I mean, you get so much value out of them. You know, they're I mean, they're big, they're bulky. But you can see like some of these pallets yes, here. You know, so this this pallet here, you know, cost me, you know, like two fifty, two fifty, three hundred dollars. You get two dumbbell sets in there. Looks like maybe some mattresses. I don't even know. I think that's like 50 pounds or 60 pounds, something like that. This is a this is a canopy, you know the canopies they use at the football game. That's what that is. There's a lot of canopies in this one. I'm sure it's a hundred dollars a piece. Oh, whatever this thing is, it's huge. Hello. Let's give it a clap so we know when to sink it. Okay. Wow, that's horrible. Why are we clapping? Look at the number. To sink it. 69. You ready? Action. Good morning. I'm Sarah with eBay. It is our busy Monday today. Kind of have a lot of orders, but today is different because I have a price list. So we're going to go over everything and what we sell it for. So here is a Bengals team tank top. And that goes, this is going to take a little time. This goes for $15. So I would, I would think this uh, retails for about $5.40. Then we have all of our golf covers. They're usually about three bucks to $3.99. Go down here. And we have our lovely chemo here. That's our vacuum cleaner and our leak blower. You can finally say that now. It's oh, right. Vacuum cleaner. It is. It is. What? I know. I didn't know. I okay, use cool. this to vacuum my car out. Let's right? just on to the next so then he takes it back. These are $23.99 a piece. And then we have this uh, little Mattel set. Oh, we're still beginning. It's a little collector's album here. This actually goes to like a vintage player. And then these little discs go inside the player. We used to have oh, really? the player and I can no longer find the player, but wow. it sold anyways without the player. Um, oh, this sold for $25. It's not bad. Not at all. Then we have our little famous Logitechs here, and these are $83. We sold two of those. We have our glasses. Our glasses um, are what? $7.99. $7.99 for a pair of glasses. Then we have a radio here. It's Pioneer Radio, and that goes for... Well, this takes time. This takes time. $48.66. Okay, this goes for $80, and it comes with all the little cords and stuff that you need. This is a um, Dickens Village collector. We actually have a lot of these in our inventory. Let me, uh, yeah. $33.64, and that goes for $24 for that. And we have an Amazon Kindle here, and that goes for 28 bucks. And this is a Gucci watch that we actually only sold for 100 bucks. And Esteban did change the batteries out in this and everything before we had posted it to make sure that it works. And we have a Stir Crazy vinyl. Um, this goes for $17. Then we sold a whole bundle of the filters. Wow. Huh? I said wow. Oh, I'm I know. I was, like, I was surprised. I was like, I'm going to bundle these and see if they sell. They sure did. Good job. Um, they sold for... 10 bucks for all of that. 10 bucks. Wonderful. Then we have a collector's Holly Hobby. Let's see if we can open her. Maybe. I don't want to break it. Oh. There she is. There she is. We actually have, I want to say, two more left. And this goes for $23. Can oh, put her seatbelt on? 
Then we sold some Pop Funko Disney characters, Mega Vault, and Jim with Gnome. I don't know who that is, but uh, 2819 is that sold for $29. Then we have a Samsung remote that sold for $35. Bucks. Yeah, $35 for the remote. And this is an actual um, VR headset. We sold this for $300, so this is a pretty legit one. And we have this little watch here that we actually only sold for 20 bucks. It's a smart watch. You got your messages, your time, alarm, call alert, um, heart rate, sleep monitor, calories. $20, you can't beat that. Um, we did really well on these. This was actually a $400 order. We sell them for $50 a piece, and she bought seven of them. And then we have this whole set. It's a 40-piece glassware set, and um, $61. And it's a Ridgeway Ironstone Staffordshire England diner set. My grandma collects this set, so it's gotten pretty popular. Then we have a water, salt water system for your pool. That sold for $30. And then we have a book set here of Tokyo Gold. <laughs> and that sold for 40 bucks as well. But you get, uh, looks like eight books, seven books. And then what do we have here? We have a cocktail dress that sold for $48. And then we have a work Scrub. Oh, are they scrubs? Yeah. This sold for $15. Then we have these hands here. Those sold for $30. So I'm sure they bought it for they are jewelry holders. Something, I don't know. But that's our orders today. And uh, so we have a lot. This is gonna be our main concern today because we don't want to break it. As you can see, we already have chip pieces here. So we need our packers to really bubble wrap every single item and do a great job with this because we don't want it broken. Wraps it up, I think that's everything. Big orders. Check out our eBay store. Bye. Quit, quit. God. So, I sold two printers to a guy, but I believe that there's only one in here because I sent them a coffin box with two of these things. So, let's open it together. A blade? No, I wanna use it with my rage. I wanna rip it with my hands. Look at that. I'm a Hulk, and there's only one! Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. One, one, one printer, not two, one. I send D. <laughs> Quiet one, don't he goes, he, gives, he goes there with a crowbar in his hand and he says, Hey, um, my boss says, uh... <laughs> uh, this stuff drives me I, I knew it. I knew Once I saw this box here, I knew it. Buenos dias. Uh, where's your question? Uh, Dímelo. Jalapeño? Si, sí, señor. Uh, uh, Dígame. Yo tengo aros de eso. But it's the golf cart. Aro, aro. Like the, the golf, go, yeah, yeah. golf cart. Pony. Come on, Mandy, who sings this? The world is on your shoulders. Huh? I'm trying to go, so you guys are slowing me down. It's easier for me to drop it here than to... These past few weeks, ever since I started, we've been dropping off the UPS packages to Michael's or to a, a UPS access point. And so, because it's become so frequent, Tom says, just go ahead and schedule a pickup. It costs us $15 a week, which is cheap. But this is what I was worried about. I was worried that they would not pick it up. And this has been sitting here since Thursday. And that's a big deal. Thursday, no, Friday, sorry. This has been sitting here since Friday, so I assumed Friday evening it would have been picked up, but it wasn't. And today is Monday, and it's still sitting here. The next pickup date is on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and I'm concerned that they don't pick it up tomorrow. 
So I'm gonna give him a call and see what's going on. Crowbar time. Tomorrow you'll pick up my UPS package, is that correct? Okay, thank you. No problem. Anything else before you go? No, that'll be all. Thank you so much. Alright, thanks for making it. Yes, you say. You too. Bye bye. It drives me insane when I'm like quite clear and I speak to them. When I speak to someone in customer service, quite clear on what I'm saying, and they're like, oh, daily pickup? I'm like, no, reoccurring pickup, twice a week. And it's like, they don't know what that means. It makes no sense. He's Jamaican, and I think that's why. <laughs> <laughs> For all my audience out there, I'm Jamaican too. Don't, don't, don't take it anyway. One of his own kind. My own kind? What are you, <laughs> what are you saying? Are you saying we're not human? No, we're both Caribbean.